फॉर माय सेल्फ डॉक्टर पंकज मानिक सोनू ने धनाजय नाना महाविद्यालय फेसबुक तालुका यावल डिस्ट्रिक्ट जलगा पेपर फर्स्ट एमटीएच 301 कैलकुलस ऑफ सेवरल वेरिएबल्स टुडे वी विल डिस्कस ऑन एक्सप्लिसिट एंड इंप्लिसिट फंक्शन सो लेट अस सी एक्सप्लिसिट एंड इंप्लिसिट फंक्शन टुडे इज आवर सेकंड लेक्चर हियर वी डिफाइन एक्सप्लिसिट एंड इंप्लिसिट फंक्शन व्हाट डू मीन बाय एक्सप्लिसिट फंक्शन एंड इंप्लिसिट फंक्शन इन द एक्सप्लिसिट फंक्शन द डिपेंडेंट वेरिएबल y and this dependent variable y can be completely expressed in terms of the independent variable in the explicit function a function in which the dependent variable y say y and in which this dependent variable y can be completely expressed in terms of independent variable say y is equal to f of x now write down definition of the explicit function for one variable. A function in which dependent variable say y can be completely can be completely expressed in terms of independent variable Say x. In general, we write y is equal to f of x. In the definition of the explicit function, a function in which the dependent variable say y can be completely expressed in terms of the independent variable say x. That is of the form y is equal to f of x. For example, y square is equal to 4ax. y square is equal to 4ax, the standard parabola. Now we define the definition of the explicit function for the several variable. In several variable, a function in which the dependent variable, that is only one dependent variable, say u. And this dependent variable u can be completely expressed in terms of an independent variable. An independent variable, say x, y, z up to so on, t. And in general, we write u is equal to function of x, y, z up to so on, t. Here, x, y, z up to so on t are the n independent variable, are n independent variable. And here this u is one dependent variable, one dependent variable. In the explicit function, the dependent variable u can be completely expressed in terms of an independent variable. The functional relation of the form u is equal to f of x, y, z up to so on t. For the explicit function, for the several variable, here the relation of the form u is equal to f of x, y, z up to so on t. Here x, y, z up to so on t are an independent variable and one is dependent variable. If we consider if we consider 
a set of n independent variables if we consider n independent variables say x y z up to so on t and one is dependent variable say u then the equation u is equal to f of x y z up to so on t say equation number 1 denotes the functional relation denote the functional relation this is the explicit function for several variable in this case x y z up to so on t are assigned n arbitrary values of the independent variable and the corresponding values of the dependent variable say u are determined by the functional relation 1 see what i am saying that in this case the x y z up to so on t are assigned n arbitrary values of the independent variable the corresponding values of the dependent variable u are determined by the functional relation 1 in the implicit function a function in which the dependent variable say y cannot be expressed in terms of the independent variable say x in general fx y is equal to z a function in which dependent variable say y cannot be expressed in terms of independent variable say x in general we write f of x y is equal to the zero in the implicit function a function in which the dependent variable say y cannot be expressed in terms of independent variable say x in general we write f of x y is equal to zero implicit function for a function of several variable we write the phi of x y z up to so on t is equal to the zero that is most of the function of more than one variable are given by the functional relation say equation number 2 here x y z up to so on t are n variables and it is not possible to solve the relation 2 to, to find an explicit function it is not in general possible to solve this relation or equation 2 to, to find an explicit function the relation of the form phi of x y z up to so on t are the n variables is equal to 0 it is not possible to solve this equation 2 to, to find an explicit function such a functional relation such a functional relation are called implicit function called implicit function the explicit function y is equal to f of x can be written as
f of x1 is equal to the 0. Here, the explicit function y is equal to f of x can be written as f of x1 is equal to the 0. But the reverse may not be possible. but the reverse may not be always possible. The explicit form of the equation y square is equal to 4ax. Okay, be a standard parabola. For example, the explicit form of the equation y square is equal to 4ax be a standard parabola can be expressed implicitly as y square minus 4ax is equal to the 0. In second example, consider the equation of circle. Consider the equation of circle x square plus y square minus 1 is equal to the 0. Therefore, this can be written as y square is equal to 1 minus x square. Therefore, y is equal to plus minus square root of 1 minus x square. Here, the explicit form of the equation of the circle, there are the two functions. One is positive and another is negative. Here, 1, 1 is positive. And another is negative. Here, this gives the complex function. So, we cannot convert the equation of circle in explicit form. We cannot convert the equation of the circle. in explicit form okay in this example we consider the equation of the circle say x square plus y square minus 1 is equal to 0 this can be written as y square is equal to 1 minus x square therefore y is equal to plus minus square root of 1 minus x square here there are the two branches of y, one is positive and another is negative. So, we cannot convert the equation of the circle in the explicit form. So, in this way, we define explicit and implicit function. So, thank you. Thank you very much.